morning, everyone. Another day is here. Another week is here. It's time to get out on the road. Got to go grab a step deck from our yard. Head on down to the Vita Manitoba area. I'm going to pick up a load of, I think it's some kind of garbage cans from what I've heard. We won't quite know until we get there, so let's get old blue warmed up. Let's get hooked onto the trailer. Let's get to work. A whole bunch of trailers, and I got one. I picked the best one I could find. I needed a step deck. So, wham! Slimy two step deck. 114D. I again move my fifth wheel back so it's centered between my axles. I had it further forward to move more weight onto my steers with that heavy load of lumber that I had, but I moved it back now just to give myself a little more space on the catwalk there to work. Got my tarps. We've checked this whole trailer over. It's ready to go. It's empty. That's the only problem. So let's fix that. Let's go put some freight on it. And I think that freight's taking us to Minnesota. Or maybe we're taking it. Or is it taking me? I never thought of it that way before. I think I'm taking it to Minnesota. It's not taking me. But I'm only going to Minnesota because it needs to go to Minnesota. So technically, it's taking me to Minnesota, right? How about we're just going to Minnesota together? Me and my freight. We're just two buddies going down the road. I'll carry them. But only as far as I need to. And then I need to get off my back. Forget. I don't need to slam the doors hard when the windows are open. When the windows are closed, it's like it's compressing the air, right? So I gotta slam it harder for it to close, but when the air. You get it. You get it. You get it, and you don't care. Very nice. I had a Timmy's this morning. I feel great. Got some pretty good sleep last night uh, before I head on the, out on the road. Uh, Bread is always nice enough to make sure I get a good night's sleep so she wakes up with Theo throughout the night. Uh, I heard them get up two or three times last night uh, to feed and they were awake when I woke up at about 5 a.m. today. My little guy's hungry, he's a little milk monster. He's gonna grow big and strong. Hopefully not too big, hopefully more strong than big. Or maybe both together, strong and big. He'll be a good kid, he'll be good. I can tell already, he's gonna be a good kid. He doesn't have an option, <laughs> he's gonna be a good kid. Uh, he's doing great though. He's healthy. We can't ask for uh, can't ask for anything else, right? Picked up my load. It's like a, a 31 foot steel fence panels that you'd see in like a, or like gates that you'd see on like a cattle ranch or something. It's hard to explain. I got uh, a whole pile of them all strapped down, belly wrapped, sitting on my trailer. I'll show you in just a little bit here. We're just at the border right now. We're getting close to it anyways. I'm not in the lineup. I'm not actually at the border yet, but I'm in the lineup for the border. There's a lot of trucks going south today. We'll uh, see how long this takes. It looks like it's moving pretty good. I think they got two or three windows open down there by the looks of it. I'm not close enough to really tell, but... Busy day. I just talked to the customer down in uh, Minnesota. They're expecting me. I should be there in about three hours. And then I don't know. Am I gonna, I might just come home empty. I might go down to Minneapolis. Ah, uh, we shall wait the load gods to see what they have to say. That's not my headache. <laughs> That's what they get paid to do. I got enough headaches.
ourselves at the truck stop in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. And this is the load I was telling you about. Steel. It's like railing for fencing, right? That's what, that's what it looks like to me. So I've got them belly wrapped front and back on the bottom, holding the, the bases together here. Then I've got straps over this bottom piece and five more over the top piece up there yet. Plus, at the front here, we've got chains crisscrossed just holding the tops in together so that they don't wobble. That was at the request of the uh, shipper there as well. He wanted to, wanted to know if I could do that. And I said, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm not sure if I uh, need them, but... It doesn't hurt having them on there though, right? That's just to keep these guys on the bottom level here together. And just so that they're not like wobbling ever so slightly, right? But now it is tight, pinned in. It ain't going nowhere, right? So as I walk around on both sides, I just check each strap, make sure they're still tight. And if they're loose, I give them a little tightening. This is a what we call a portable because there's no ratchet under the trailer, so use a portable. Yeah, it hasn't. It hasn't even wiggled once. Hasn't even vibrated. It's strapped down so tight. The shipper was telling me there is no concern over tightening it as tight as I possibly can with the full force of my body weight, which as you know is a little bit more than it should be. That's my load. You know what's strange? <laughs> a little behind the scenes info for you. These glasses there are prescription shades, right? They block out strange, strange things. Like there's a screen right beside the lens right here where you are. There's a screen that I flip around and I can see myself what you're seeing, right? I can make sure I'm centered and in focus and looking good. But I put my shades on and that screen goes black. I can't see anything on that screen right now. I can see you obviously, but it looks like the screen got turned off. Now it's on, now it's off, now it's on. It's weird, right? I keep thinking that my camera is off. And then I go, oh, oh, there, it's on. It's strange, right? Actually, no, I wanted to uh, quickly grab a drink, just a drink of water back here. So like I said, I'm in Thief River Falls, uh, just on my way down to Gully, Minnesota. Once I'm empty in Gully, uh, they're expecting me there. It's about a 45 minute drive from here. Uh, there, uh, once I'm empty, I head over to Wapton, North Dakota. There's going to be a load there waiting for me to pick up tomorrow morning. It's taking me back to Manitoba. I think I have to deliver it into Carmen, Manitoba. So that's a nice little rounder, right? Happy with that. It's very slow right now. I was talking to a few other drivers too. And it's a, it's a slow season right now. I don't know what's going on. The weather's warming up, so you would think that people start building stuff, right? And they start, uh, you know, getting excited, buying stuff, building stuff. Ah, it's just a little lull right now, I guess. It's going to pick up real soon. School's going to be out soon. And once all the kids are out of school, maybe that's when all the projects will start. You know, when people start buying stuff, spending money. I know me, I like spending money more when it warms up. I think that's, that's typical of a lot of people. You know, if you're buying or selling houses, it always heats up when it warms up. Buying or selling cars, I think, is exactly the same. I bought this truck at this time last year. I've had uh, Old Blue for a year now. Uh, bought this truck last year when it started to warm up. Speaking of, I, I think I've told you already, Old Blue's going in, uh, getting polished uh, in a few days. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to shine her all up. And we'll give her the bull snot treatment. Keep her nice and shiny up until next year. It's springtime, so it's time to, you know, do some spring cleaning. 
We also got a whole bunch of other things going on this next week. This next week is going to be pretty busy. But I want to start, like like I've promised, I want to continue this daily video release. Now that, uh, you know, we sort of found our groove with Theo, things are rolling along. I think it's time now to get back to my daily releases. I've been watching and reading your comments saying, oh, you missed the daily videos. Yeah, my life is busier now. It's, it's no excuse, really. I mean, I can still get my videos done. But uh, it was nice to have a little bit of a breather. I appreciate all your patience with me. Uh, I know some of you uh, watch my videos every single day. And when I don't release one, uh, maybe you're wondering where I'm at. At least uh, that's what the comments and messages and emails that I've been getting have been saying. Maybe most of you probably didn't even notice. <laughs> that's okay. But yeah, we want to make videos every every single day again. So we'll see whether I'm at home or I'm on the road. Whether I can put together a full length, like 20, 25 minute vlog, or if it's just a 5, 10 minute, just an update vlog, something. I want something posted every day. I don't have a set time. I used to always release at 4 a.m. Central Time. It hasn't been working as well now as it did before. I like releasing around supper time here in North America, but around like 5 or 6 o'clock Central Time. Everybody's getting home from work for the most part. The majority of my audience, like 75% of my audience, is from North America. 50% is from the U.S. alone. 25% is from Canada. And the other 25% is mostly split between the other English-speaking countries. Uh, the U.K., obviously. Australia, New Zealand. And then there's uh, a whole bunch of you from other countries around the world as well. But the bulk of my subscribers are here in North America, so... Trying to find a good time to release them. But just turn on notifications on my channel, and then you'll get notified. Maybe your phone will give you a little ding if it works. Hopefully it does work. Don't forget to uh, make sure you're subscribed as well. Then you don't miss it when I do post one. You can follow along. Got quite a bit of videos on the internet already. Just finished unloading them. Just gotta get them to sign some paperwork. And we'll be off to Wapton. Not sure what I'm picking up there. I have an idea of what it is. I think it's pipe piping. Like uh it's called a uh, irrigation piping or something like plastic piping. We'll see. I've never actually been in Wapton. Found a nice truck stop. They must have just built it because it's not even on Google Earth yet. It's a Cenex. Lots of parking. It is a gravel lot back here, but it's a nice gravel lot. 
Nice and smooth, unlike the ones we got out in the prairies, right? For some reason, us out on the Canadian prairies just can't get it right. Just can't get it, but there are better truck stops coming. It's just, some of the ones we do have, have black holes dotted throughout the parking lot. And you have to be very careful because you can get sucked in and die. You can call them potholes if you want, but they're more than that. They're next level. They're black holes. They'll eat your whole truck. You'll never get out. You'll never be seen again. No one will know what happened to you. And demons live down there. The gravel loss they got here down in Minnesota, man. They have to one-up us on everything, eh? Gotta do everything just a little bit better. And the only thing we can come at them with is like, hey, healthcare, huh? Right? And then they come back at us with, ha, huh, taxes. We're like, yeah, huh. touche. Ah, we got the best hockey players in the world. That's for sure best hockey teams in the world that's for sure and I might argue we got the best people in the world though you know it depends where you're from you're gonna argue with me about that 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 you have the best people in the world there's a lot of good people I've never traveled outside of Canada and the US though so I don't know much about the world outside what I call North America to me North America is Canada and the United States I know there's more to North America officially but in my unofficial mind that is North America and I've never been outside it. Never been to Mexico. Never been to South America. Never been to Europe. I'd love to go visit Europe. I'd love to go visit uh, Ireland and Scotland and, and the, the whole UK. I'd love to go visit Germany. I'd love to visit Eastern Europe too, like Poland. Just to see what it's like, you know? I want to go to the UK and I want to rent a car and I just want to drive around on the wrong side of the road. I want to do the same thing in Australia. I do want to visit Australia one day. That is one on one of my goals. It's, uh, it's a very far away journey and it costs a lot of money to go visit there. But they're so similar to us. They're our sister nation. They're the same thing as Canada but just upside down and backwards. <laughs> they're just on the other side of the world. But we have the same king. You know what's interesting about our king? King Charles III. We don't share... Well, we share a king with the UK. But it's not the UK's king that is our king. We brought the Constitution home in the last century. And King Charles is actually king of Canada, which is a separate kingdom altogether than the United Kingdom and the Australian Kingdom. Complete separate kingdoms, but we all share a king. He doesn't do much. He looks very fancy in his coronation crown, and his, what is it called, a scepter? His little ball that he was carrying around looks very official. Very official. I like our system that we have. We have a constitutional monarchy in Canada. In the U.S. here, they have a constitutional republic with democratic institutions. In Canada, we have a constitutional monarchy with democratic institutions. We vote in our leaders and they serve under the king with the king's authority. But the king doesn't really do much. He doesn't... He comes and visits us now and then. It's nice. But... Oh, well. Story for a different time. Different time. So we made it to Wapton here. We had a pretty good day. I uh, got loaded in the morning, unloaded in the afternoon, got to my reload point in the evening. Tomorrow morning we'll get loaded here in Wapton, we'll head back to Canada, and I'll get unloaded in the afternoon. And from there, we'll see what happens. We'll see what the trucking industry has for me. Like I was telling you earlier, it's a little bit slow lately. Which isn't... I thought January was more the slow season, but January was busy. I don't know. I don't know. They're getting me stuff to do. They're taking care of me. It happens. It's not completely abnormal or unusual. It happens. Sometimes you go through a slow period. And then all of a sudden you get all of this business and you can't keep up with it. And you're running and running and running and running and running. And then all of a sudden... Pfft, slow again. 
been doing this for, uh, well, doing this for 12 years, almost in October, it'll be 12 years. I've been driving trucks since 2006, so, yeah, I've learned to just take it as it comes. I just, I love my job, and I think I'm very lucky to have a job that I love doing. I hope you have a job that you love doing. And if you're young and you're thinking of what kind of career you want to have when you grow up, you don't necessarily have to be a trucker because you're watching me. Though it is pretty fun. It is, I'm going to admit it's pretty fun, but it's, it's stressful. It's a lot of work. And uh, it's risky. You could either make a lot of money or you could lose a lot of money. <laughs> it's half up to you and half up to luck. But whatever you do, whatever you decide to do when you're done high school, maybe take some time to think about it. Don't go waste your money like immediately right out of the gate and all these useless degrees in university that aren't going to make you money. First of all, take a look at the degree you want to get and ask yourself, is this going to make me money? And if the answer is no, it's a waste of time. You all know the, the university courses I'm talking about, waste of time. You can learn a trade or, you know, you can go to university to become a doctor or become a lawyer. Whatever you want to do. But the main thing is, all right, will you be happy? It's important that you make money. Because you need money to survive. You need to support your future family. You need to eat. You need to have a house. You, you're going to need to have a vehicle. So you need a job that's going to bring you money. But you also need a job that's going to make you happy. So put some thought into it. I didn't know what I wanted to do right out of high school. Not exactly. That's not totally true. I knew I wanted to be a truck driver. This was my main goal. I knew that I wanted to do this. But I also, I had two other career choices that I wanted to do. I wanted to be a pilot, and I also wanted to be a police officer. I wanted to be the guy that you called for help. You know, when something bad is going on, I wanted to be the guy that showed up and fixed it, and helped you, and saved the day. I thought that would be really cool. I also wanted to be a pilot, because I, I, I think flying is amazing. Like As if we can fly in the sky tens of thousands of feet in the air it's just amazing what we've been able to accomplish as a human as as well let's be honest the west what we've been able to bring to the world and in a large part the united states what they've been able to bring to the world oh, i'm so thankful for all the technologies we have combustion engines the internet air conditioning flight you know so many more things. Telephones, cell phones. It's amazing. I've been bibble babbling for long enough, though. It's time for me to put these videos together and maybe try to get a good sleep yet. I keep fooling myself. The sun is still up, but it's actually pretty late. It's after 8 o'clock already. The sun will be up for another hour or two yet, so I want to get all my work done and you know, don't get too distracted because I know as soon as I lay down, I'm, I'm going to want to surf through the internet and Facebook for a little while yet. I need to make sure I allot myself time to do that, otherwise I'm up way too late. So, thanks for watching today. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell button, all the buttons. Leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you right here tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.